morning and welcome back to another vlog. So today we're in the car, starting at a different place other than the kitchen and we're actually off to Vista. David's driving. And I haven't been to Vista since before I went to America in March, it must have been, or April. So a long old while for me. Normally I get my uh, quarter yearly fix but I haven't had it for a while. So we're gonna head there and do a bit of Christmas shopping. I've got lots of Christmas presents to buy and I've also got David's birthday and Christmas presents because his birthday is Christmas Eve. So um, yes, we're gonna be doing lots of shopping. I also want to see um, if they have another pair of the Stuart Weitzman boots that I got in March, but in black, because I literally wear them every day. They are the comfiest things. And I know some people think it's ridiculous to spend a lot on boots, but honestly, they are totally worth it. They're like walking on clouds and they're so comfy. And I don't normally um, wear heels on a daily basis, but these ones I can wear and they're very flattering. I'm just basically justifying it to myself. But yes, we're gonna go in search for, for some Stuart Weissman boots. We're gonna have lunch, because I've got a booking at the Wolseley, I think it's called. Probably got that wrong. Um, but it's the new restaurant there. And have you been there since they opened all the new shops? I'm not sure if you have. So, yeah. every time we, we go. Big opening, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. Every time we go, they have new stores there. So I'm excited to see what they've got this time. So we'll see you in Vista. Um, to pick up potentially my birthday present. Potentially, who knows? Who They've knows? got the right one. Yeah, fingers crossed. I get as lucky as I did last time with these boots. I think if you go back and watch my other vlog, I will link it, but I got the grey ones that I'm wearing. Can't see, but I'll show you later. Um, and they're originally like 795 and I think in the end with all the discounts, I managed to get them for like 395 so it's pretty good and um, we'll see if we can track down another boots heavier um, I didn't get a black pair but I did manage to find a really nice like chocolate brown color and I think brown goes with a lot of things lot especially of things, yeah. like I know you're technically not supposed to wear black and brown but I do a lot um, and even with I suppose like camel color coats like nude color coats brown goes well as well and they're darker which means they're more practical for wearing out because the ones that I've got now are like a really gorgeous taupey kind of beige colour and they go, they get mud on quite easily. So yes, we're just going to head into Cafe Worsley, Worsley, Wolseley for our lunch. 
It looks really nice. So this is a new opening here, as I mentioned earlier, and the menu online looks lovely. So, you excited? Very. Food Let's involved. Let's go. Time. Yeah. David's favourite part of the day. Mushroom, truffle, and marjoram. Oh, marjoram. Marjoram. Sounds yummy, though. It does. What are you going to go for? Oh, chunky chips. I think there's corn frits in here. Maybe even a smoothie. It's a bit of a change. Why don't you have a prosecco smoothie? Do you reckon that's a thing? Already. I feel like Fox Fizz is such a Christmasy drink, isn't it? Do they do mulled wine? No, but they do have a little mulled wine um, stall. Yeah, we saw that, didn't we? I think we might have to get one of those, maybe. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe a bunch of those. Oh. That's quite nice. Show it to the camera. lighting in here and the fact I look like this but it is now quite a few weeks later since you saw me in the Bista footage a lot has happened I will talk about it in another video you may recognize that I'm in a slightly different background um, so yes yeah, stay tuned for that if you follow me on Instagram you'll know already but it did dawn on me that I'd completely forgotten to show you what I picked up at Bista so I thought I'd do it now 
um a lot of my bags are pretty destroyed because it was raining very heavily in the last hour that we were at Bista, but it didn't ruin the fun we had a great time really really nice lunch at the cafe Wolseley as well and i got a lot of stuff which was kind of my like pre-christmas treat um shopping spree and obviously i bought a lot of gifts as well so the gifts i can't show you because they've been given at christmas but i can show you what i picked up for the house and for me as well so the first thing i'll show you is the bits that i picked up from the white company now i love the white company at Bista because it seems to be so cheap in there and the white company isn't renowned for being cheap normally it's like a massive treat brand for me especially their reed diffusers and everything so whenever i go in there and i can actually afford to treat myself to a couple of bits and it doesn't feel like a massive splurge it is a huge bonus so i did pick up two of the most gorgeous fluffy um soft towels known to man honestly i wish this was tacho vision so that i could um let you know how soft these are and originally they are 36 pounds and at Bista it is 24 pounds for a huge bath towel so i picked up two of those just because we needed some new towels i'm not very good at washing them and making them stay soft so yes and i also got a really nice hand towel to go with it so that was from Bista. oh and the hand towel how much was it doesn't say but it was definitely a lot cheaper than i would have got it in the white company oh i've got my receipt actually um so in total i spent 51 pounds 56 uh oh the hand towel was nine pounds 33 which is pretty good so yeah i was really pleased with my little purchases from the white company next up i got a couple of bits from ralph lauren now most of the bits that i picked up there were actually gifts but i did find myself a really pretty scarf to go with another purchase that you'll see in a minute this is just a plain kind of camel coloured scarf with a little stripe through the middle and originally it was £79 and I picked it up at Bista for £54.99 so really soft fabric really really nice for the really cold UK weather that we've got coming up probably snow probably um yeah lots of freezing cold coat weather i also picked up a bangle from tory birch now i don't know how i'm going to get in here without ripping the bag i do like keeping all my bags from bista as well to keep um on top of the wardrobes but this reminded me of i always forget the name of it maybe the cartier bangle i'm not sure but it is a really really pretty i'm going to try and show you this it's not going to focus and i just picked up this really really pretty rose gold bangle with the tory birch um logo on it and i just really liked that it's very pretty now tory birch actually had an extra 30 percent off when i was there so i managed to get an extra 17 pounds off and it came to £41.30 for that little bangle. Also made a really beautiful gift, but I did get one for myself just as a little treat. Next up, I had a little spree in Tommy Hilfiger. Now, Tommy Hilfiger is one of my favourite brands. And they've had a store at Bista for quite a while now. But it's only just started doing women's clothes. So I kind of went a little bit mad. Um, I mean, not that mad. But bought a couple of t-shirts. So just this really nice kind of plain red with tommy on the front um i also got one of these which i feel like is a traditional kind of tommy hilfiger top just kind of easy stuff to wear with jeans and speaking of jeans i did get this really nice kind of boyfriend um fit pair of light wash jeans with a kind of slightly well it's not a flare but it's not a skinny leg um just a relaxed fit basically for um kind of casual home wearing and going out um originally those were 110 pounds but at Bista they were 73 pounds 30 so that was pretty good and i also bargain of the century um i also got this pair of tommy hilfiger leggings for 10 pounds they were £35, but £10, yeah. I just really like these kind of 
chill out loungy leggings with the banded top because they are so easy to wear at home and you feel slightly more kind of put together than when you do when you knock around at home in your pajamas. Now, probably my favorite purchase at Bista this time around was this Burberry jacket. Now, it's not the classic trench. Um, I was going to go for the classic trench, but I really, really loved the fit of this more and I thought I would get more wear out of it. So this is, let me try and get the name right because the lady who helped me in Burberry was so incredibly helpful. She was literally pulling loads of different coats, we were trying them on, we were having a good old chit chat and um, she kind of helped me to refine what I was looking for and not just go wild because it was the original Burberry trench. I know that it is a classic coat and that style is always going to be around and I think originally if you go into one of the Burberry stores in London for example you'd be looking at around 1300 to 1500 pounds for a Burberry trench which it's obviously a lot of money, but it's kind of the classic trench and that's how much you'd be looking to pay. At Bista, they're around 750 to 800 for the classic trench. Obviously, it's not the classic trenches that they have in there. Um, sometimes you can get very, very similar ones. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, this one is the Camel Dale Small Coat. I don't know if that's the right word, right kind of description of it but it is a really really pretty camel belted coat it fits beautifully really really flatters my figure anyway I often find coats can look a bit bulky and I don't kind of enjoy wearing them because it looks really kind of big and you know what I mean I'm sure you know um this also has a bit of the Burberry kind of traditional lining in the middle um, it has got a collar, but it's not too in your face. You can still wear a scarf with it if you want. And I love these sleeves as well. They're really, really beautiful. So I was very pleased with that and I cannot wait to wear it. I ha still haven't taken it out on its first outing yet. Um, but yeah, really, really beautiful coat and a massive treat. Obviously I wouldn't go in there every week and treat myself. And then last but not least, I did pop into Stuart Weitzman and I did try and find a black pair of the boots that I wear so, so much. But obviously black is a very popular colour and they often don't have kind of the favourites in there. Although I did pick up the nude over the knee boots with the kind of mid heel that are so easy to wear for every day the last time I went. So I'll link that Bista trip in the description box if you want to see what I'm talking about. But I did manage to pick up a pair of the over the knee brown boots, which I think will go with a lot of things, to be honest. I'm already planning a few different outfits with them and they are very dark brown as well. So I feel like they'll be quite versatile to wear. The reason that I wanted to invest in another pair was because I literally live in my Stuart Weisman boots. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I pretty much wear them every day. So I needed a darker pair because obviously getting further into the wonderful UK weather. It's very muddy and I didn't want to get the grey ones ruined. So obviously a darker pair, a little bit more versatile and practical for this weather anyway. I did size up as well. Normally I'm a five and a half to a six. But I got a 6.5 with these because you do tend to find that after a while they kind of mould to your feet a little bit more and um, become a bit tighter, which I know is strange because most shoes kind of loosen up and um, don't fit so snugly after a while, but the Stuart Weitzman boots seem to be the opposite. So yes, that was everything that I picked up. Sorry I've been a bit rambly. I've kind of lost my YouTube mojo recently and haven't really been on here very much, but... I do plan to be back with lots of exciting content so if you would like to see more of my wardrobe room and why I'm in here and not my old wardrobe room then please do subscribe and keep on watching. Let me know if you've found any Bista buys recently or if you've popped there and you were enjoying any of the stores there. I can definitely safely say that Stuart Weitzman is my favourite store there and I always find something that I just can't leave without basically. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon.